I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on previous test papers. In this playlist, I am sharing with you some important questions which I have seen over past few years being asked in many different competitive exams globally. The idea here is to help our grade 11 and 12 students who are looking forward for better jobs and better institutes admission all over the world. So what we have done here is taken these questions and will try to explain you how to answer such questions. They should help you for your future tests and exams and also admission to some excellent universities including American universities, British universities, Canadian and Australian universities. The question here is, if at least 90% students in a class are good in sports, and at least 80% are good in music and at least 70% are good in studies, then the percentage of students who are good in all three is at least what? So we are given four choices. So clearly we are going to solve this using Venn diagrams. Okay. So we're talking about three things, so I need to draw three circles. Okay. So these are the three circles. They represent students good in three different fields. These fields are defined to us. They are 90% students in sports. So let's put S here. 80% in music and 70% in studies, so ST and SP. Okay. Now, from the data given, we are saying sports, 90%. Okay. Music, 80%. And studies, 70%. Now clearly, you see that this total is pretty high, right? So if you add this up, what do you get? So you get uh, 17 and 7, 240 you get, right? Now 240, we're talking about percents, means that we have something extra here, right? We can only accommodate 100. So, so what is extra? The extra which we need to adjust is 140, right? So that is kind of extra. Now in a Venn diagram, how do we adjust this 140? Now let's look into the question also. It says, then the percentage of students who are good in all three is at least. So all three least means this group. We want to keep this minimum, right? So we want to keep this minimum. So the idea is that has to be minimum. Out of the choices, we have 20, 25, 40, 50. You'll be inclined to 20, right? And then you'll try it out. Now, from where should we start? Assume that this is a multiple choice question where you have restriction and you have one minute to solve, right? So restriction without calculator, one minute. Okay, how will you solve it in one minute? That is the question. So the idea here is that all this extra can only be accommodated in the common areas. So if I put something here, something here and there, then it is actually fulfilling the other requirements also and meeting the target. So we have to adjust 140. Well, whatever said and done, you can actually take care of 100 but then still 40 remains. How do you account for this 40? Well, clearly, you must have seen that when you add, these quantities get added up twice, but this quantity, I mean, so you subtract that, right? So, well, we'll not get into details of uh, the principle of inclusion and exclusion. which is key for solving any Venn diagram. But the idea here is that even in these, 
that portion gets added up twice so so 40 could be adjusted here right so we add and then take away so we add and we take away so what I expect is that 40 should be the right answer you get the idea so if you go with logic you can actually answer this question in one minute perfect now let's try to see if I place 40 here let's say if I place 40 here then let's start with the, the lowest amount of 70 who are good in studies and since this is 90 and this is 80 70 I'm left with 30 right so so I already have 40 so I'm left with 30 I could split into 20 and 10 so I'll put 20 here and 10 there now I need to get 90 and 80 but remember that we can only go maximum for 100 so we have how much 20 40 60 and 10 70 already so we could add the most put 30 here nothing more than that perfect now if I put 30 here do I get 90 that is my question 40 plus 20 is 60 plus 30 is 90 yes I do and on this side 30 plus 40 is 70 plus 10 is 80 percent I do get and so this is the right answer do you get the idea so that is the check which we have performed and made sure that our choice is correct and including the check if you write 20 40 10 30 it doesn't take more than a minute but well you don't really have to check if you're sure about it perfect so so this technique is huge and I hope that helps you to understand the concept so in any Venn diagram this is how you could proceed and answer such questions I will also provide you with a link on other Venn diagram videos which I have created especially those which are for minimum and maximum values right minimum or maximum possible values right. normally teachers or even many people don't even talk about these but they are always very popular and difficult questions in your test papers so go through these videos they should help I hope it makes sense feel free to write your comment share your views and do share my videos with your friends and watch all the videos in this playlist to get good performance in competitive exams where you have multiple choice questions thank you and all the best